back to Trends and Friends. Well, we've been following with Dr. Binks for a while now with Texas Tech Weight Management at NMHI, and I'm joined with him again to talk a little bit more personally about my journey losing weight, lowering those calories, getting more active. So thanks for joining me today and having me here with you again. <laughs> Happy to have you here. And, and you're very right. I think that most people have followed a diet at mm -hmm. some point in their life, and it doesn't mean that sometimes doing something a little more structured to get some weight off initially that's not necessarily a bad idea but we, we always have an eye towards the long term right. so how do some of the more important areas of your life potentially interfere now or in the future with your ability to make these lifestyle changes stick I do live a very active life but in terms of activity I mean three kids you know a very active husband our social life is pretty hectic as well and being in news doesn't exactly um, make it a stress-free world either. Yeah. So there's a lot of different factors there. Stress itself has a physiological effect. So if we are overstressed, our body sometimes will store fat uh, a little bit more efficiently, right. which isn't necessarily a good thing. Uh, <laughs> and then there's the emotional coping piece, so the stress yeah. eating and things like that. It's like a bucket. If the bucket's full and you add a little drop of water, it runs over. But if you keep that stress bucket down, you've got lots of room for stress on the ups and downs. I may not choose the healthier option, so that's yeah. really a the bigger struggle is if I'm if I'm headed down that path of maybe eating something I shouldn't how do I then draw back and maybe find a healthier option maybe not ice cream but go for the frozen bananas that I have in there and blend those up and make a healthy meal that's a great strategy so sometimes you won't be able to pull away from the the food pull it's right. a very strong uh, motivator mm -hmm. uh, but to be able to find a slightly less damaging version and beyond just saying you know, blended ban bananas versus ice cream, I actually talk to people about making a slightly better ice cream choice. So a plain vanilla sometimes is the next step. Instead of, we, we work a lot with, let's not jump from eating your favorite ice cream to bananas. <coughs> let's figure out what could wean you away and, okay. and create that habit that eventually might be a, a much more healthy choice. Thank you so much for those. Those are absolutely doable things and I think it takes off some of the pressure of maybe feeling like we can't do it or feeling like it's just this umbrella or very heavy thing to to tackle but I like how you're breaking it down for us okay. we, we appreciate that all right we'll have more trends and friends coming up next